Yes, hello Kenneth. Hello. Kenneth is gonna demo us the what's it called again? Intelligent emergency brake. Intelligent, Intelligent forward emergency braking. Okay, <laughs> yeah, it's forward. quite a mouthful, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is oh, oh, sorry, oh. sorry. We are yeah. Yeah. we're going to uh Hi Sabrina. Hi. So okay, we are going to now try this uh what Ivan said just now. <laughs> you will see that uh Kenneth is not going to hit the brakes. He's yes. going to let the car stop for him. He will go up to a speed of about 30. Yes, about 30. 30 kilometers an hour. Yes. And uh, we'll see this. Okay, so basically he uses the mono camera okay. to detect the shape. The mono camera is here. Yes, yeah, here. And something very interesting is that the wipers actually clean Wipe, the camera. Yeah, clean the camera. Yeah. Right? It's just like our eyes, it needs to be clear. Right, All so right. here we go. So here we go. And we he's not hear the, the audible warning first. Oh, okay. This time it didn't work. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So <laughs> why did it work? All right. Uh, you the, this system, no, this system actually we are not meant to test it multiple times. Oh, I All see. All right. Let, let me put it this way: in the real world situation, yep. you you cannot, you must not rely on it. You're no, not definitely. Supposed to rely no, on no. It. Like I said in the previous video, these are assistance yes, systems. It does exactly. not allow you. So it happened one time. It happened two times. It happened three times. You should stop the car and take a break. Mm. Yeah. So okay. what we do? We're gonna switch cars. Okay. And let this car rest. rest when right. it's resting is when it's resetting also. Okay. Right. All right. Okay. Okay. Take let's. Car number two. So I'm not gonna cut. We'll just jump into car number two. Right. And, oh. and see the system work again. Now remember something that Kenneth said, which is very very important, and something that I also said earlier. These are assistance systems. Yeah. Never just rely on them. They are not meant for you to drive like a maniac, or to be negligent behind the wheel. They are just here to help you. Oh, and I'm gonna go get a new GoPro. <laughs> so here we go again. So it's a good thing that Kenneth was uh, on the ball at that moment. If not, we would have hit that little barrier there. Okay, so let's try that again. This time, let's go faster, Kenneth. <laughs> okay, it's just like. Uh, how this will work in real life situation, you know, you're driving normally, crawling in the city, oh, nice landscapes, mm. nice crowd. You're distracted. You know, you're distracted, you're not paying attention, and then suddenly it's kind of front. It Whoa. might be not break at all. Fantastic. Yeah, and then now I have to break. Yeah, because it will creep off, yeah, right? Because yeah, because you're on D. You're on D. Yeah. Okay, D. okay. So, yeah, you're not supposed to rely on it all the time. Correct. But it's like when you're looking and suddenly the car in front stops. When you're distracted. Yes, when you're distracted. Yeah. Even even with these new interface systems, you, you can actually be distracted. You know, you're looking for audio, you're Correct. looking for something, the next thing you know, the car in front stops. And uh, yeah, so you only have to need it once for it to be worthwhile. But better if you don't let it, you know, activate at all. You should be more vigilant when so you're it, driving. It, it happened very fast, yep. uh, but actually it comes in two stages. Well, actually three. The first is the forward collision warning, yep. which we hear the audible warning. Beep, beep, beep. Yep. By that time, if you react, the brakes is actually primed. Primed, okay. So a lot of accidents happen when people don't slam on the brake hard enough. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Some people slam just like 70%. Yep. So what, if, what happens, let's say, if that the beep, 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 and the brakes are already primed, you put 70%, it is going to go full brakes also. Yeah, okay. That yeah. means it's already primed the brakes. Correct. The moment you hear the beep sound, Correct. it has primed the brakes. Yes. Nice. Thanks, Gareth. Thank right. you very no much. Thank you for the demo. Yep. Okay, so you heard it from Kenneth himself. There we go. Awesome. So if you remember, I tried testing this uh, collision avoidance in uh, in another vehicle some time ago. You can see that video further down, but uh, I couldn't get it to work again. And remember, it's only there to assist you. It's not there to take over the driving responsibility. That's still yours. To do you know so remember just remember that it's very very important all these driver assistance systems they i mean they're they even called driver assistance systems because they're just there to assist okay these are not autonomous driving cars okay they are not autonomous driving cars they do not drive for you even though you've got active cruise control in this in this new uh, x-trail you've got um, collision detection collision avoidance they're just there to assist nothing 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 else okay so just remember that Cool. All right. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.